players, all right, interwebs, welcome back. Mole Gamer here, and we're taking a look at Torin. Torin was a uh, PlayStation 4, Steam. Don't think it's hit the Xbox One yet, but it's an indie title actually from Versus Evil, and it's set in a kind of fantasy land. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Pan's Labyrinth. But the question is, is if Torin's the right game for you? Let's take a look. Now, the thing about Torin is, is that Torin is. Um, when I first saw this one, it was beautiful, okay? It was really cool, really awesome the way they used environments and stuff. I really I, I really enjoyed um, what I saw, and so that's what got me to really want to play Torin. And so, uh, going forward, though, uh, Torin itself actually uh, is a story about a young girl who, um, she's always like this reincarnation, is what happens. She's always being reincarnated every time uh, the, the previous hero dies. And each time the hero manages to advance the tower, and the tower keeps growing, or you're growing up the tower, or you're going up a tower, I'm not entirely sure how it all works out, because it's, it's uh, very artistic in its telling. Not that it's a bad game or a bad story, just very artistic, so it's a little difficult to understand. But the gameplay, though, gameplay here is tried and true. You got the sword, you hack everything uh, that comes at you, but hey, don't throw as many enemies as you'd think uh, for a game with a sword. I mean, Versus Evil really went the artistic route with this more than your standard run-of-the-mill title. So, sword play aside, which only comes in, in a few items, um they do these weird puzzle things. Now, this was the bane for me of the game, was having to do these salt puzzles. Because what these salt puzzles are is, is well, you shake salt on these things, and then these glyphs come alive, and then you got to move to the next area or something. And this this was just annoying. And um, Even with using an analog controller on my PC, uh, this is much better, by the way, using a controller versus your keyboard and mouse. It was difficult to get the glyphs right, and so I, I found this very frustrating at times. Boss battles. There's only one boss, the dragon. You will fight this boss multiple times throughout the game, uh, and in different manners, and you're going to have to use different techniques depending on when you fight it. Cool. This game really... I, I can't say much bad about the game. It just... You know, I hate the salt glyphs, but apart from that, though, I mean, it's a competent game. The problem I have with this game is that it was cut too soon. Yep, it's getting our cut too soon award because this game is short. Unfortunately, I beat the entire game in under two hours. And I'm not sure if that's intentional, but when I tried to look for, like, a new game plus or something, there's no replay value. When you, when you play through it, it's an awesome game, but... Apart from speedruns, it's there's really no no reason to keep going back and keep playing. It's it's a very short game, um, beautiful game, definitely artistic, but again, very short. Not much content here to work with. So, right game for you, and we're currently retailing for about ten bucks on Steam. Um, Depends on your tolerance. Ten bucks for two hours of gameplay? Uh, that's not much for me, so I, I wouldn't have done it had I known beforehand. Uh, but still, it is a good game, and they kind of make, at the end, this is another one that seems like it's going to be part of a larger series or something. I hope if you guys do that this becomes something much grander, because fun game, sweet game, just too, too short. Morally speaking, you're dealing with reincarnation, dragons, mysticism. Uh, disturbing images, actually, is like the baby is born in blood. No mother or anything, so you got to do some of that. If you have issues with any of that, obviously you wouldn't want your kids playing it. Uh, so, hey, this is Torin, though. Uh, Moral Gamer, MoralGamer.com. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you like what you see, definitely try this game out. Uh, definitely give it a look. We hope to see you next time with another review. Thanks for watching.